Dear Sandra, first of all, I want to thank you very much for the last year's gift. It was exactly what I asked for. I'm talking about the Valerian Fresnel screen, if you remember, which has truly transformed my home cinema. This year, I decided to write to you again, and this time to ask for something more simple. I would like you to bring me the best home cinema DLP projector that has ever existed. I want a DLP projector with contrast that can compete with JVC projectors. It's so simple. As for the design, I'll leave that to you. Just please, don't make it boring, not a simple cube like the Valerian Pro 2 that I already have, okay? To show you my appreciation, Sada, this year I will leave under the tree the best organic milk and the most expensive cookies I could find on the local supermarket, just for you, Sanda. Damn it! Organic milk has gotten really expensive these days. Oh, here are the cheaper ones. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, this one is the cheapest. Where are the discounts? Oh, there they are. Wait a sec, this is the cheapest one. Got it. I hope you don't forget me and that you show the same generosity, Sada. With love and respect, Nikos. What was that? What? No way! No way! This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The most anticipated and most talked about projector of 2025 is here. It is in my hands, and I swear to you, it is beautiful. It is insanely beautiful. I'm talking about the Valerion Vision Master Max, of course. The top model of Valerion, and a projector that came to shake things up and bring new interest to the home cinema lifestyle category. Three thousand five hundred ANSI lumens, fifty thousand to one dynamic contrast, rainbow effect reduction system, EBL and stepped iris, one hundred and five percent lens shift, and of course the latest generation RGB laser optical engine. I swear, no matter which angle you look at it from, the Max is simply stunning. The nickel metallic slats combined with the front and rear volcanic style black glossy glass surfaces give it such a luxurious look that you don't want to take your eyes off it. Just marvelous. Thanks, Ada. Nice cuts. Max is not just a projector. It is a statement of premium design. And like any truly premium product, it comes in a beautifully designed leather case that also gives a strong feeling of luxury. The first feature I want to highlight is the motorized zoom and the lens shift. With a throw ratio from 0.9 to 1.5, the Max can project a 100 inch image from a distance of about 2 to 3.3 meters. This wide throw ratio combined with a motorized lens shift makes installation much easier, even in very difficult spaces. Valerian also offers an optional external lens that increases the throw ratio even more, up to 2.0. This means that for the same 100 inch image, the Max can now be placed at a distance of about 4.4 meters compared to the 3.3 meters before, giving much more flexibility in larger rooms. Before I talk about another one amazing feature of the Max, the RBA reduction feature, I need to explain what the rainbow effect is on DLP projectors for those who are not familiar with it. An RGB laser DLP projector creates the image by rapidly flashing the red, green and blue lasers one after the other at very high speed. These changes happen thousands of times per second, creating the final image we see. The fast color switching can cause the rainbow effect, which many people notice and find very tiring and distracting. 
It looks like a color trail following moving object in the image. Here, using my camera with extreme shutter speed settings, you can see how the RGB laser color switching looks on the Max. The color sequence and switching speed change depending on the picture mode or the white balance setting. For example, in white balance setting Warm 1, we get clean but slower red, green and blue switching. In Warm 2, and other modes, yellow is added, which means the red and green laser fire together to increase brightness. Warm 1 uses fewer and slower RGB color changes, which appear as wider horizontal bands in the video. But this pure RGB sequence delivers better and more accurate colors. Unfortunately, the rainbow effect is more visible in this white balance setting. So, Valerio designed and equipped the Max with a special algorithm that works directly on the laser diodes drivers, specifically on their operating frequency. This algorithm does not just reduce the rainbow effect, as claimed, but completely eliminates it. This system changes the laser duty cycles to an extremely high frequency that no other projector has managed to achieve so far. You can clearly see this here when I enable RBE reduction as the RGB bands multiply. Look at the menu in slow motion with RBE reduction turned off. You can clearly see the rainbow effect. Now I turn RBE reduction on and the effect simply disappears. Side by side the same frames with RBE reduction disabled and enabled. Quite impressive, right? So, the Max is the first single chip DLP projector that permanently solves a problem that has existed since the beginning of DLP technology. This feature alone is so unique that it places the Max in a category where no other DLP projector can stand next to it. Well done Valerion, well done. One more feature that Max offers, and the most important one in my opinion, is the advanced 6-blade iris that Valerion has equipped the Max with. This high-tech stepped iris uses a special black coating on its blades to prevent stray light from reaching the screen, a technology usually found in expensive camera lenses. This iris is located inside the lens and helps the Max improve contrast and black levels. Closing the iris in six different steps lowers black levels and greatly increases contrast. My measurements showed a contrast increase of more than 100%. Just impressive. On the other hand, EBL or Enhanced Black Level is a unique and advanced Valerian algorithm that truly changed what we thought was possible in DLP projectors. On the Max, it pushes contrast all the way up to 50,000 to 1. Let me explain how it works in the simplest way possible. Imagine the projector is displaying a scene that is not very bright, maybe medium brightness or even a completely dark scene like this one. In this case, the low native contrast of DLP projectors, which is usually around 1500 to 1, produces wash out dark details and poor black levels. This is where EBL starts working. First, it analyzes the image and all its elements. Then, it lowers the laser power to achieve deeper blacks. Up to this point everything is fine, but normally when black level improves by lowering the power of the light source, contrast does not because brightness is reduced across the entire image resulting in a dim picture with all detail lost. Here comes the clever part of EBL. The algorithm adjusts gamma separately for each element of the image, increasing their brightness close to the original level without increasing laser power, so the black level remains unchanged. The final result is an image with excellent black levels and contrast without losing any details and all image elements remain as bright as before. Incredible, isn't it? And all of this happens in just a few milliseconds. EBL analyzes frame by frame and adjusts everything in a blink of an eye. And it works guys, EBL works incredibly well. Combined with the extra contrast boost from the iris, the Max becomes one of the most effective DLP projectors on the market today when it comes to contrast and black level performance. Now let's look at some real examples of the iris, EBL and a few other image tools that the Max offers. Even on a static frame like this one, you can clearly see the differences that the iris and EBL make in the dramatic increase in contrast, even when the scene is not purely dark, like this one. Even in these mixed brightness scenes, the differences are significant. Especially if you also reduce brightness using the laser power adjustments to level 6, which is the lowest setting allowed when both EBL and the iris are enabled. The result is truly excellent. The Max also offers two more important settings, dark detail, which affects gamma correction in dark areas of the image, and active contrast, which increases contrast in semi-bright and dark scenes, again through gamma manipulation. Finally, there is Valerion's excellent dynamic tone mapping, which does a great job with HDR10 content. Look for yourselves at the differences with everything enabled and disabled. And I repeat, this scene is not even a purely dark one. 
If we move to a dark scene, be prepared to pick your jaws up off the floor. This is a purely dark scene, as played by the Max with no assistance enabled at all. I cannot say the performance is bad, but look at what happens the moment I set the iris to position 6 and at the same time enable EBL on high. Did you say something? I can't hear you. Please, feel free to close your mouth now. Look at the before and after side by side. This makes it even clearer what level of contrast improvement we are talking about here. The same credible improvement in contrast can be seen even with streaming Dolby Vision content on Netflix. Look at how deep the blacks are, how high the contrast is, and how three-dimensional the texture of this scene looks. Simply an outstanding performance from the Max. One that I believe can satisfy even the most hardcore JVC fans. Now look at the same scene after I disabled both the iris and the bill. you probably now start to get the point, and it becomes easier to understand why the Valerio Max is considered one of the best laser DLB projectors on the market right now. Look at the two videos side by side to fully understand the size of the difference in contrast and black levels. Impressive, isn't it? Huh, I do have a proposal for Valerio, a very reasonable one. Valerio, why not move the iris adjustment into a special service menu that requires a 12-digit password including symbols uppercase letters, lowercase letters, just to keep things balanced. What do you think? Wouldn't that be more practical than the current method where you enter the main menu, then the projector menu, scroll down roughly 10-12 options, change the iris settings, while the movie you were watching has stopped and then you have to start playback all over again? Because yes, that is exactly how it works right now. That was just a friendly suggestion for improvement, obviously. Using a well-known test pattern, which I will link in the description, the Mac shows half horizontal resolution in Full HD 3D content. This is most likely a limitation of the MediaTek MT9618 processor, and it is something we expect to be solved with a future firmware update, I believe. Members at AVS Forum have created an excellent thread testing and point out 3D performance on many projectors. I strongly recommend it that you visit and read it. This is also where the half resolution issue in 3D came to my attention, a limitation that affects many projectors on the market. I was not aware of it before. AVS Forum is a community with very experienced members who generously share their knowledge and real world experience. I highly recommend this forum and I suggest becoming a member if you want to stay up to date on everything related to audio and video. Despite the half resolution, and I know many of you may disagree with me on this, 3D viewing of the Max is the most comfortable and impressive 3D experience I have tested so far on any projector, regardless of technology or price, with only one exception the excellent AOL Vision LTV 3500 Pro, which remains my personal reference for 3D viewing, especially paired with a Fresnel screen. On Max, 3D synchronization with DLP Link Active Shutter Glasses is simply perfect and rock solid. Depth is excellent, motion is smooth, the brightness of the image is exactly what you need, and the overall experience is extremely comfortable. For me, this is a 10 out of 10 for 3D performance, regardless of the resolution limitation.
Now I want to talk to you about the Max of Gaming. Actually, I won't. I will talk about gaming and Metroid Prime. The franchise we're waiting for so many years is finally back. I'm talking about the new Metroid Prime Beyond here, not just a game, but a piece of art. Samus, an intergalactic bounty hunter, is accidentally transported to an unknown planet. She is lost and so far from home. On this alien world, she meets the last surviving remains of an ancient civilization. She is the one. She is chosen to continue their legacy while also trying to find a way back to her own world. Nothing is easy. Danger is everywhere. Hostile creatures, endless trials. She doesn't talk. She doesn't hesitate. And in many ways, Samus represents many of us. Quiet, strong, always fighting alone. For all you gamers out there, buy a Nintendo Switch and leave the Metroid Prime Beyond experience. That's my advice. As for the Max, I believe the image you are seeing right now on your screens tells you everything you need to know. After owning the Max for 4 months before publishing this review, I tested it against many competing models, with countless measurements and direct comparisons. Every single time I reached the same conclusion. When it comes to image quality, the Max is the best DLP projector that has ever passed through my hands. Yes, it has flaws, some menu bugs, some glitches, but let's be clear, we are dealing with a diva here, and as we all know, Every diva comes with mood swings, strange habits and a personality that requires at least patience. Despite this, once you start watching content on the Max, you forget everything else. And that honestly says everything. HDR performance is excellent. Dolby Vision looks great on all profiles. Valerian dynamic tone mapping is outstanding. 3D performance is impressive. The contrast and black levels this projector delivers are simply phenomenal and something we have never seen before in a DLP projector. When the Max is properly set up and correctly calibrated, with the Iris and EBL enabled of course, I can confidently say that it delivers one of the best images I have ever experienced from a projector, regardless of price or technology. For more details and deeper analysis, you can read my full review on projectorjunkies.com. Valerion. Please continue to inspire the entire projector industry with your innovative ideas, exceptional technologies and outstanding products. We truly need it. Merry Christmas to everyone. Sanda, thank you for the special gift and I hope you like the milk and the cookies. This is Nikos. You have been watching another video review on Projector Junkies channel. See you all in the next one.